as the factory of the world with associations to cheap manufacturing just a few years ago, China is undergoing a massive transformation into an innovative economy. China already outspends the entire EU on research and development and files more patents than any other country in the world. But what are the places, the industries, where China is currently uh, strongest within innovation and where does it lag behind? Uh, what are the particularities of innovation in China and what can European businesses learn from them? And what defines the new Chinese consumer uh, and how do companies, especially foreign companies, connect with her? If you are interested in these questions, then our summer course, Business and Innovation in China, is for you. You'll be joining over 30 other students from our member universities for an intensive two-week learning experience here in Shanghai, the business capital of China. And this includes not only lectures from our main instructor, Associate Professor Dmitry Slepnyov from Olberg University, but also a range of guest lectures where we'll be interacting with company representatives from uh, corporations, small and medium-sized enterprises, startups, both Chinese and foreign. In addition to this, we'll be going on some company visits to see the premises of such companies, see how they operate in their own working environment. And also, you'll be working in groups uh, on a business idea that you'll be pitching on the last day of the course. For an idea of what the program will look like, you can visit our website nordiccenter.net for a look at the 2019 program. The course is only open to students from member universities of Nordic Center at Fudan University. So to see if you can apply, go to nordiccenter.net slash members. Truly amazing experience. Go to Shanghai. <laughs> okay. Take okay. a summer course, it's really nice. I would of course five stars <laughs> recommend it as course. Great opportunity to visit a country that you hear a lot about in the news, but Maybe you don't get quite the full story. Actually, I would suggest them to come here to see. That, that is better than anyone tell them what is going on in China because practice is the best, right? I think I learned so much. <laughs> I've never been to China before, so I had this image that we might get in the West from the newspapers and the media, and that image has just been trashed. <laughs> it's completely different. To see a real China, you have to come here and experience it, and you'll definitely have a different and more positive opinion about how things are here, and I believe that's truly unique. This will be just a great introduction into how business works in China, something that can inspire you to totally pivot into another direction, uh, get your studies on a whole new trajectory. I think like all the lectures has been very inspirational. It's been very, they've been very like down to earth. Yeah. Mm. I enjoyed uh, Ben Cavender the most. Uh, yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, agree, I agree. He was really good at the, explaining how the supply chain and how the retail market is uh, functioning here in China. So I got uh, a lot from that lesson. As well as, was it Alan the next day explaining about AI and kind of the incubator ecosystem in, in, in China. I really liked Søren Boutrup. Yeah. He was, uh, he had so much uh, interesting points. But as well the lecture about IKEA and to see how uh, cultural difference uh, meets business. The whole course was as well structured in a very good way giving us a broad uh, picture of the whole like chi business in China but also going in on some details and really just bringing the pros and the cons and giving a good balanced view. I think it's interesting how we approach business in China from so many different angles to really get the, a, a good insight. Because it's more like an interaction between you and the Chinese, um, not only Chinese, but also Nordic businessmen working in China. The way they, they innovate here is very different from, from yeah. back home, so I definitely definitely saw different ways of doing it. Yeah. Yeah. I think uh, they have really good opportunities for innovation and in many fields they are light years ahead of us in Western Europe. The whole thing with like, you can pay with your face by yeah. smiling yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff, I had no idea that was yeah. a thing. I am personally a big fan of how uh, well integrated like mobile payment is in China. Let's say you are, if you have a startup and you want to sell things, 
then the consumer must be able to pay with WeChat. People look at you weird when you use real money. <laughs> yeah, like cash, like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they don't want that. If we did have like a startup without this course, mm. we uh, we would like definitely fail. We yeah. have <laughs> no idea about any thing about the culture and such. Yeah. Mm. I think the main instructor of the course, Dimitri, has a really good approach to teaching about the Chinese innovation environment and also gives very constructive feedback on business concept ideas. And also the teachers, like the teachers yeah. are very, um, very, the they have a passion like yeah. for the course. Like every every day, the PowerPoint will be adjusted for that day. Yeah. There's no like slip and missing about the agenda. Everything's very, very controlled and very planned, very well. I would say I really enjoy that our uh, teachers. They're not only teachers; they're also interacted with us. When you're at school, it's serious and it's academic. It's really, uh, you learn a lot, but at the same time, you have time to go exploring Shanghai, which is a beautiful city. We also went to the Peace Hotel. It's very yeah. Famous in Shanghai, a lot of my Shanghai friends, they haven't been there, but mm. we have. So you actually get to experience like China and the city, because the environment is so different from the Nordics, and the culture is so different. It's been very intense, but it's been very rewarding. So we have all, we totally different backgrounds, and we still get so much out of this course. I, I really think it proves that it's definitely worth doing. You're so very welcomed here at the Nordic Center. Uh, among all the other Nordic students. We created a very mixed groups in our comp com competences and that was very good. Interesting that we can interact with each other and come back and come up very new or interesting ideas. I believe group is very well uh, balanced. It's, it's fun, it's, it's smart and, and people are friendly and just really interactive. Everyone is very open, everyone is very social, um, like it's easy to, you can start a discussion about anything with anyone. And everyone is, is really motivated and I think that's a great thing, we're all here to have fun and, and explore China but we also have this goal that we, you know, we're very into this. Because you have different uh, backgrounds, you come from different countries, you speak different languages, to have like different inputs on everything. It feels like I know everybody now, even though it's like a class of 30. But I also like loved our field trip. <laughs> Just, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that was also like really, really nice. And then yes. getting to see like Subcon. And it was really fresh to see uh, Hangzhou, how, how unique it is with nature and also as a, a large city. Of course, smaller than Shanghai, but you could see how China is really different even if you just go a little further and the environment is completely different. Yeah. Westland. It was really nice. Beautiful uh, to watch at. Yeah. It yeah the was whole really scenery nice. is like a picture or a mm. artwork. We have one day's excursion to Hangzhou to visit the Subcon mm -hmm. uh, of China. It's very attractive and they have very automatic machine and AR in their work. That's really fa fantastic, I think. Gain a knowledge into how uh, the entrepreneurial ecosystem works in China and how innovation works in China. Like there's so much potential, and they've done like they've done so much so quickly. Yeah, it's uh, for me. It's like uh, Chinese companies in a nutshell. It's a billion-dollar company you never heard of. So <laughs> that's kind of show the Western ignorance of China. The field trip was awesome, yeah. and the karaoke. Is fun. Take yeah. away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, karaoke is great. And all the food. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah We've been eating yeah. good. The yeah. Food is really good. <laughs> and cheap. And cheap. Oh. The welcome dinner was so good. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. uh. For me, it has to be something food related. So I think when me and Henrik went to eat crayfish, it was super nice yeah. and so messy. Yeah. <laughs> I have a lot of good memories. Mm -hmm. Every time we have lunch or dinners together, that's really interesting. Basically, I found that they they enjoy sweet and sour pork a lot. <laughs> Not my favorite, but okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 everyone. Yeah, it's two great weeks in Shanghai. You meet a lot of cool people and you get five study points, so <laughs> why not? You need to come here to truly understand what China is all about. You get that false picture uh, usually or sometimes or very often from from Western media and coming here will open your eyes in a totally new way Come to China, take this course, 
experience different culture and you will learn a lot from your business idea. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. Apply. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Apply. It's, it's so interesting. Yes. <laughs> Go to Vedan, yes. <laughs>